Hello students. Today we are in the part 3 of chapter number 9 looping statement. And in this video we will go through while went statement. Sometimes what happen is that the loop has to be executed repeatedly while the given condition remains true. So in such cases while went statement is used. It is also known as entry control loop. Now let us go to the syntax for the wild wind loop. Now the syntax we use here for the wild wind loop is different from the one that we have used in the for next loop. Now in wild wind loop the initial value should be placed before the loop and your loop begins with with the while statement and the condition is written. You can see here we will place the condition inside the bracket that is beside the loop then comes the statement that you want to repeat in the loop after the statement then we call it as a value of update or what we can also call as the increment or decrement of the value that will be used and finally we will write or we finish the loop by writing the went statement so this is the syntax for wild when statement now let us go through a simple example here now you can see here that this is the syntax for the wild when loop and here is one simple program related to that now see the initial value now here i have started the value or the value begins with one so i have used a variable here a and i have initialized the value as one then next comes the while and the condition as i have already said that the condition should be placed inside the bracket and remember that in case of while when loop the condition is specified by the operator now what we have done in the for next loop we have specified the condition by giving the initial limit to final limit or say initial value to final value but here we are not using the word as to instead of to we are using the operator whether that is relational operator whether it is less than or less than equal to greater than or greater than equal to now next comes the statement and the statement will be executed as long as the condition becomes true then after that the value update that is the next value of a means the next value of a will be incremented by one so a is equal to a plus one or what we can also say is one plus one that is two and then come the when statement which means to repeat now let us go through some more examples below so example number two write a program to print the number from 50 to 100 so i want to print the series from 50 to 100 and here is the program so my value begins with 50 and i have initialized the value for the variable a before the loop and my loop starts with while and as i have already said the condition should be placed inside the bracket and it should be specified with uh, operator so first it will check the value of a is a less than equal to 100 yes the condition is true so once the condition is true it will print the value of a the loop will get execute and the next value of a will get updated that is a plus one or what we can say as 50 plus one is 51 then the loop will get repeat that is went means to repeat and again the while will check the next value of a that is 51 is 51 less than equal to 100 if, if the condition is true again it will print the next value of a and the next <coughs> sorry and the the value of a will get updated that is 51 plus 152 so in this way the loop will move on and on and it will execute the next value of a until and unless the condition become false now finally when the value of a become 101 is 101 less than equal to 100 no the condition becomes false the loop will get terminate and it will 
come out of the when statement so let us just go through and check it whether the program is working or not so let me minimize it okay so this is the program let me press f5 key and just check it out whether it is working or not yes you can see that it is the you can see the output here the series of numbers from 50 to 100 so let me press any key to continue and let us move back to the program now if you go through the next program that is program number three it is same as the one that we have done in program number two only the thing is that you have to print the series of number in the reverse order that is you have to print the number from 1 to 15 reverse order so here is the program and i have initialized the value for the variable a before the loop that is 50 so it will first print the number 50 and it will check the condition that whether 50 is less than or equal to 1 yes sorry whether 50 is greater than or equal to 1 now if the condition is true it will print the value of a that is 50 now the next value of a will get updated that in this case as we are printing the number in the reverse order so the value of a will get decremented by one that is minus one it means it will be 50 minus one is 49 again it will check the next value of a that is 49 is 49 greater than equal to one yes 49 is greater than equal to one so it will print 49 and again the next value of a will get decremented by 1 that is 49 plus 1 is 48 so in this way the loop will move on and on and it will print the next value of a until and unless the condition becomes false now let us go through this example let us check whether this program is working or not so this is the program that is to print the number in the reverse order let me check it yes you can see that the series of numbers from 1 to 50 has been printed in reverse order so in this way there are many programs given here and along with this video i will provide you the programs at least there are same programs are there so you can just go to the program and practice this program so this is all in today's video thank you children